Professor Barloin has been an inspiration to chemists, and not just um, Spanish chemists, not just um, European chemists. I knew of him long before I ever met him when I was a student at uh, Harvard University as a graduate student, and probably also as an undergraduate at the University of Illinois um, at Urbana-Champaign. He was uh, enjoys high visibility, always has, and has served as an inspiration because he has managed to uh, do fantastic chemistry uh, throughout the years um, and um, built um, an impressive um, department and a community of researchers um, in Spain. Um, I find it impressive that um, he continues to be highly creative and highly original, um, even at all points in his career. So as recently as three or four years ago, he reported the chemistry of hydrozones um, with um, palladium and with rhodium. And I read that and I thought, I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> and I think that's a compliment that uh, one of the best compliments we can make to um, a colleague when they have a really good idea and you're almost a little jealous that you didn't think of it. Um, so it's great chemistry, and um, the world benefits from those kinds of things. I know that that particular reaction is being looked at in a number of uh, research settings, and so it's not just chemists that will benefit in the future. I suspect it'll be uh, people when it leads to uh, new medicines and new uh, therapies. So I wish him much uh, success, much um, uh, luck. Um, and I uh, encourage him to stay active. He may not have a lab, but um, he has a lot of experience, a lot of uh, wisdom, a lot of uh, knowledge. Um, and the lab is only one component by which we as professors and scientists um, can influence the uh, community at large.